for the live stream salute to the the moderator salute to the channel member salute to the people who support me monthly on patreon who buy shirts my shirts and they share the content because i know a lot of y'all are scared I appreciate everybody being here early. Listen, if I'm here early, you should be here early. All right? And we're going to get into this. And uh, we're going to talk about this viral video. I know people want to hear my take on it. I don't think a video could have done it justice. I think doing it, doing a response live would do it more justice than anything. All right. All right, let's see who's here. Let's see who's here. True, Jimmy, Moron, uh, King Dambo, Not Important, Lando, Ashley, Gerald, Jamar, YRM, Overdue, Janie, X, Nivea TV, The Rapper, Shot Town, How You Little Brother, Mona, Pug plays, or P U G? Is it is it P U G plays? Uh, James, Millions, Oscar, Dion, Chris G, Joe K, Monk, Wesley, Genuine Smoker, Black Rain, Little Cupcake, Air yeah, Maxwell. Pop Smoke, what's up? Okay, okay, so your name was Jane. Janie, so you changed it, okay. Did you change your you change your profile pic too? Okay, Janie. So I, I can go I can go by just calling you Jane now. I just go back to calling you I can still call you Jane, I guess. T W what's up? Let me tell you what I'm not going to deal with. Y'all are not going to bring this gender war BS to my chat room. I done told people this over and over. Whatever issues you have with women, don't bring it to me. Okay. Um, if I see it, you're out of here. Okay. You can't just be coming in my chat room, not focusing on the topic, but just looking for a fight this ain't the place because if i see it you're out of here and you never coming back do i make myself clear i just want to know if i make myself clear don't bring the gender war bs here i don't care i'm not there is no gender war to fight and if anybody's telling you differently they gripped it let's be real because I'm not here to argue about women. I'm here to show you the effects of years upon years of programming. I'm showing you the effects. And I'm also telling you the causes. But we are not here to argue and bicker. We're not here to make goofy response streams. We're here to make commentary about the issues that is going on today. I'm not here to argue with nobody, and neither should you. Not in my chat room. Now, again, do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? If you don't like it, you can go. But you better not say nothing. Because you know how you get in your feels when I say something back to you. I just want to make that clear, Okay. We talking about the effects. If y'all want to fight an invisible war, go fight on your own place, wherever you at. This ain't the place, okay? This ain't the place. All right, let's see. What's up, Miss Tech? So Carly. What's 
we going to get into this video. It's a lot going on. What's going on with this modern women and the enabling. The fact that I bet there are people who see no problem with this young lady did, you know. I saw this clip just for her house training. Thank you, Miss. T Thank you, Miss Tech. Shout out to you for the first super chat. Definitely. And uh, her friends did not do her any favors. Her friend did not do her any favors. Friend did not do her any favor. They were hyping her up to act a complete fool. But I guarantee you, if that dude would have put hands on her, we'd be having a probably different conversation because people then will be saying, well, he should be charged, he should be fired. But this woman clearly during a pandemic is coughing, which lets you know none of them chicks are wearing masks, by the way. Again, I'm not a fan of masks, but these will be the same people telling other people to wear masks or in the, on their profile pics, they're, they got masks on, but they hopping into this this guy's Uber and uh, acting ridiculous. All right? What's up, Shan? <laughs> Brown skinned woman in the middle wasn't acting up. Oh, she she was uh letting her presence be known, but she wasn't hopping up and down. Um. Like the other chick was, you know, she was measured because she, you know, we, no, we, you know, with me as black people, we careful when we dealing with these foreigners. Like we don't hop in foreigners' faces. <laughs> we don't hop in, we don't hop in foreigners' faces. You know, we we see foreigners, we see foreigners, you know, getting at black people sometimes, but you won't see black people hopping in their face like this. You no, know, you will not see that. But her friends didn't do her no favors. It, it is as if, it is as if, and I'm going to get to the video clip. It is as if they wanted her to act stupid. But see, foreign chicks, Americanized foreign chicks don't care about these foreigners like that. They will do stuff like this because they know these guys better than we do. Because black people are afraid of foreigners. I believe this guy's from Nepal, right? He's from Nepal. So um, now, now if he was one of these like Lebanese or Saudis or maybe even in India, maybe, maybe he, something else would have popped off. Let's see if I can find a clip. But, um, yeah, these Americanized Middle Eastern chicks are, you know, they're, they're not afraid of these guys. Like, you know, you know these blacks here in America, these blacks in America are very afraid of these foreigners for whatever reason. They're very afraid of them. Let's see if we get to this video. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. I get the, is the video. Okay. Here we go. You know? We don't know if foreigners are capable of, but obviously this chick didn't care. <laughs> but I'm about to get to this video. I, I just think this video just shows y'all, man, these women have no respect for men. And again, this chick and him are probably of maybe similar cultures, but she's Americanized, so she has no respect for these guys. Hey, Hope All is well. What's going on, uh, Jamie? Appreciate you. All right, everything is great and wonderful and all that. Hopefully, you are good as well. Let's get to this uh, video clip so y'all can see this BS for yourself and y'all see why no man should, absolutely no man should deal with this chick. Oh, my God. You see that snake again? What? <laughs> I set myself up for that one. <laughs> I set myself up for that one. But shout out to, I mean, look, shout out to y'all. Y'all know I have commercials on mine, so it's all good. I just, I set myself up for that one. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, the girl in the middle, yeah, she was playing her role. She was like, eh. Fucking nigga, and I got corona. Yeah, what's up? Three, 
Is you sisters letting this foreigner say the N word? Is you sisters letting this foreigner say the N word? You you don't talk to my property. You don't buy it. Okay, I stand correct. They the two of them they did have masks, but they were barely on their face. So yeah. You don't buy it. I bought it. I work hard for it. You're not in the middle of nowhere. So. Go. Get it like this. Are you stupid? I'm really having my do something. Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. Let's play that again. Hey, no, fuck the mess. <laughs> fuck the mess. Then I got corona. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Right. Hey, fuck it. And the chick, the, she pulled her mask down and says, I got corona. Uh huh, huh. These are, I don't know how old these girls are, but I, they're probably in their early, late teens, early 20s. I would think, because these can't be adult women. It would not surprise me if these are adult women. One or two of them probably got kids. It wouldn't surprise me, but this is very juvenile behavior. Oh yeah, she did say yeah. The, the foreign chick did say the n word. She she dated a few of you you black males. Yeah, she feels like she's dated a few of you black males. She could say that. Y'all know y'all let them get away with saying the n word. Fuck you, kid. Oh, oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And she's telling this grown man what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? She's telling this grown man what is he gonna do? Has she not seen the videos of these foreigners putting hands on these chicks? But I don't know if it's because, you know, she looks similar to him and he was hesitant to put hands on her. What? Because if he was one of them black chicks, he probably would have, you know, <laughs> caught back and punched one of them. But but he has that camera in there as if he's recording. He has to record his because it's almost like he's trying not to get fired because they're recording him. But he's totally in a situation with people who are just not trying to listen to him they're being very disrespectful to him right this is your modern female they think they can get away with this type of th stuff right they think that they are allowed to get away with this behavior and this is how they've been enabled this is why they go around thinking that because they have a degree right because you know they've been able to land a, a decent job they're somehow better right they think that because in our society we elevate the woman what's good sir they think that they're supposed to just treat men any kind of way the girl on the end had absolutely no respect for him she's snatching the dude's phone I guarantee you, if he would have snatched that phone, snatched her phone out of her hand, she would have tried to fight him. She probably would have fought him in that car. You touch a woman's phone, she's going to try to do bodily harm to you. But what would possess her? Did she think he was recording on that phone? Because he actually had another recording device. <laughs> he had a whole nother recording device. These chicks is wild, man. And you sisters letting this, letting this foreigner... Say the N word? Y'all thought y'all say black men be doing that. Be simping for these non melanated women, letting them say the N word. I see two of y'all allowing this chick to say the N word. Yeah, it, it definitely daddy issues. You, you don't talk to my property. You don't buy it. You know. Where is Chad Wheeler when you need him face with rolling eyes? Chad Wheeler's probably with his other black female, uh, black girlfriend. Y'all know he done got another one. It's always funny when these chicks try to initiate a fight with men and then start crying. When the dudes strike back, only in first world countries. Yeah, only in America can chicks get away with this. America and the UK... They can do stuff like this, but they would chicks would never try this in the Middle East, in China, 
some of these countries that are more patriarchal, even on the continent, I don't think chicks would try them dudes like that. But in America, these women have so much freedom, they feel like they can disrespect this man they don't even know. Shout out to the construction experts with the cash app. Appreciate it. Y'all take snatching the dude's mask off. I told you these people don't care about catching CV because they probably done caught other things. They done caught other things. They don't care about CV. They they got they got bigger problems going on. <laughs> they got bigger problems. Bitch. You don't buy it. I don't give a I bought it. You know I work hard for it. It's not in the middle of nowhere. So, what the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go. Bitch ass. Get it like this. It's just out in the middle of the fucking thing. Are you stupid? How do we have to like do something? Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. I told her to get out. He told her to get out and she refused to get out. That's crazy. They not listening. And I, I want y'all to understand something, man. These chicks have absolutely now nowadays they have absolutely no respect for us as men. Like they really don't. And we gotta look at what's going on, man. Father issues, mommy issues. You got kids that they grew up around the wrong influences, like this young lady, who I'm sure grew up around people who she wanted to fit in with, like them two girls. And it would not surprise me if she was like that non -mel that non melanated chick that grew up around a lot of black people. So she probably had to fight growing up, and always had that fighter spirit because she constantly had to defend herself and show how tough she was. Look at the darkest one in, in the group was just sitting in the middle, not really. I mean, she was there, you know, laughing or whatnot, but she, you know, she, the other girls was doing the most. And she was sort of just sitting in the middle. Probably Those the most feminine out of the three. be careful before the next man kills them. Absolutely, man. These men are not playing. You hop into the wrong Uber and you're going to get around one of these, one of these dudes that the, the fresh off the, they fresh off the boat boat. Like they are fresh over here in this country. They don't speak no English. And y'all try that on that. Try that on them. I want to see y'all try one of these foreigners fresh off, fresh off the plane, boat, whatever. I want to see y'all go and put hands on those dudes. They will fight you back. Cussing you out in their native language. My dude, they have B Arab pimp and his boppers, man, shrugging dark skin tone. <laughs> we said, like, we got to talk. What's going on with these ladies, man? Even the non, we can't say this is a black woman thing. This is why when y'all come, come to me with this gender war stuff, talking about the black woman, this, the black woman, that. What about all these other women that are insane? These women are losing their minds. It's not just about the black woman. Think bigger. A lot of these women are losing it. They're getting, they're getting smashed and dashed, pumped and dumped. Their boyfriends are slapping them around. They need an outlet. You are that outlet, Mr. Nice Guy. This is why I tell y'all, stop being nice to these women. They're just using you, soaking up your good energy, going home to their toxic relationships and lives you know right yeah the girl in the middle was definitely the more feminine one uh the, the two the two masculine ones on each end and they you know they were doing the most absolutely the most so again we can't talk about skin tones and this can't talk about race because the worst one was the one that ain't even black and we have to talk about this man the, the the level of ratchet the red the level of ratchetness that's still a word is reaching everybody every group is seeing it man <laughs> they're dealing with it they're cursed with it but this is the culture that has been created what you gonna do now you know that's where we at
second. Let me get this video back up. All right. Fuck the mess! <laughs> fuck the mess! Then I got corona! Yeah! Fuck the mess! Fuck the mess! Fuck the mess! Fuck the mess! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? They wonder why they're hitting the wall at Sonic the Hedgehog speeds and can't catch. Not mm. ring. Ugly attitudes. Absolutely. And they wanna get upset. They wanna get upset and blame, blame the men that they don't even actually want. They claim, by the way, the men they don't want, you know, they blame us for why people have this perception of them. I'm sorry. If you out here with two or three baby daddies and, you know what I'm saying, you, you're constantly in, in issues, that has a lot to do with you, not to do with anybody else but you. But these chicks are getting, they're getting slurred out left and right, and they're angry at the world. If the reverse happened, ITD be a news story. Absolutely. That's why it's interesting. I'm surprised these blogs, all these blogs that do nothing but but try to tear Jay, down. I was trying to men. play Apex Legends, but I am not about to miss these misbehaving thoughts. <laughs> Get put on the barbecue grill. Oh, oh they on the grill, all right. And the reason why I play that fire pit at the beginning of the stream. Because these are the type of women that we need to avoid at all costs. These are the type of women that are procreating. And yes, I'm talking about the foreign chick too. It wouldn't surprise me if she doesn't not already have a half, a half a mixed kid or going to. I mean, she's really trying to impress those sisters, right? Who probably can get more men than she can. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Cause she doesn't display any femininity whatsoever. I you know I don't care how good the Instagram looks. As soon as you open your mouth, just like the chick that I told y'all about that had all those abortions, right? As soon as she opened her mouth, I'm like, okay, this is a very masculine chick. Uh, she looks feminine, but I bet you she deals with a bunch of just dusty of the dusty. Guys who probably uh, like to put their hands on women, guys who are in and out of jail, guys who has to be in these streets. They don't know what it's like to actually make legitimate money. Maybe, maybe not. Those are the type of guys she deal with. Has a whole bunch of kids by different women. Those are the type of guys that deal with. Guys that make their lives worse. Don't make their lives better. Makes their lives worse. Right? This dude here is trying to do his job, but she doesn't respect that. Because unless you one of these thug dudes, these some of these chicks are just not gonna show you respect. Unless you have a demeanor of don't don't mess with me, then chicks think that you a soft target. That's how they think. And and that's how they get proven wrong. Because you're gonna run up on the wrong guy. And I'm talking about the health on the end, the foreign alpha. You're gonna run up on the wrong guy. Think every think you can read a dude and, and see that he's soft or he's weak because he ain't like the dudes you deal with. Because he'd be the main one to do damage to you. I promise you. And a lot of you chicks be misreading these guys. Just because a dude is calm and he's not talkative and he's not braggadocious don't mean that you should overlook him. Don't do that. Because your life may depend on that. My property. Yeah, now you got to get beat the fuck up. Now you about to get beat the fuck up. Now you about to get beat the fuck up. What's up? You you don't talk about. They talking about he he about to get beat up. The one in the red look like talking about he he's about to get beat up. What you about to call your about you about to call um your male friends your male simp friends? Are you gonna physically fight him? See, this is what I'm talking about. These females think they can fight men. No, you cannot, unless you are two, three sizes bigger than that guy. And again, I've seen women overpower dudes, but the dude probably weighs about 120 pounds soaking wet. Of course, you're going to be able to overpower him. Thanks for the stream. Gotta go. See Yajay and fam. All right, man. Appreciate you. 
Being here, James. Shout out to you. None of you helpers are not about to win no fight with no dude. I don't care if you think he's lame or not. There's a lot of dudes I know, if you didn't know that they played sports or whatnot, they would come off as being corny or maybe being a bit weird or being a bit on the nerdy side. But I guarantee you they would knock your block off. And I'm just talking about in general, not just when the guards win. I'm talking about men too. There are dudes I know you would think the guys please square, but that dude has a another side to them. Okay? You got to understand that. Stop trying to challenge men and fight men when you don't know that man. I don't understand why these Western modern women do this. My property. I don't give a you don't buy it. Bitch. You don't buy it. I doubt it. You I work hard for it. You're not in the middle of nowhere. So what the? The chick in the red is rolling up her sleeves. Who are you about to fight? Because you know he's going to put hands on you. He may not put hands on the the uh, the non-melanated chick on the right, but he will put hands on you because foreigners, they put their hands on black women. We know this. They will put hands on black women. Remember the guy on the train that the women talked trash about his jacket then got smacked. Right. Up. Then they wanted him to go to jail. They wanted to lock that man up for that. But you going around putting your hands on people you don't know. Not all these men are cucks. Not all these men are afraid of, of you know, putting you in your place. They're not. Right? Go. Get it like this. Are you stupid? I only have to do something. Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. It's crazy. How how they just think they could just talk to these guys any type of way, man. That's that's crazy. I I, I don't get it. I don't get how you have these females think they can talk to these guys any type of way. This man is trying to do his job, and you're not letting him do it. If he was to hit you. Then what? You be doing interviews talking about, oh my God, I was just trying to get a ride. These will be same heifers saying protect women. Right. <laughs> They'd be like, protect women. Protect women, even though the one who's getting in this guy's face, you know, she's on camera being disrespectful. We want to, we, we still need to protect women. This is why I, t I told y'all, I tell y'all this all the time. Women are not afraid of men. They're not. Modern women are not afraid of men. That's a myth. These women are not afraid of men. They will put hands on men. They will get into the faces of grown men. They're not afraid of them. Don't let them shame you dudes by telling y'all that women need to be protected. I think women need to protect themselves. I think women need to protect themselves. They out here doing the most and don't understand why they get the reaction that they get. You get the reaction that you get because you don't have no home training. No father figure in your life. And that's the saddest thing that we have going on right now. And this video proves it with this young lady getting into this Uber driver's face. And I believe he is pressing charges against her, which is good. JDB working OT this week, damn. Thanks to Joe. No, I think it's a steady. I think you're seeing me do back to back live streams. It might be a little bit surprising, <laughs> but uh, I think it's been pretty steady, uh, you know. But yeah, when there's when there's good topics, man, I'm going to be more motivated to speak on them like with this. And again, I want y'all to understand this. Make sure y'all like the stream too. like the stream. Share it, too. Don't be afraid to share it. Women are not afraid of men. 
Um, I think that the whole protect women is only propaganda to get people to donate to women's organizations and things of that nature. End up like girl on the bus, you go into jail now. <laughs> right, right, Carlos. You going to jail now. That was an epic video, by the way. That was an epic video, man. Oh, that was an epic video. Oh, that was an epic video. I I, I, I just think that video pretty much just showed y'all. That was years ago, by the way. That was years ago. But that same type of behavior is only increasing in the boldness of women, right? Let's go to book out of case. Women are becoming more and more bolder to be disrespectful towards men. And in this video with the Uber driver, he's a foreigner. <clears throat> he's not one of these American uh, males, right? You know, he's probably not even used to this type of behavior. But again, I think he was hesitant one because he was being recorded i think he's required made by the company to record his drives right he didn't want to lose his job but also he wasn't he was dealing with a female that may have been from a similar culture to him i'm not 100 sure she could be you know of a different culture uh maybe i'm profiling but you know he was hesitant i don't do you think he would have been as hesitant if one of them sisters got up in his face So, as I said before, and I'm going to keep saying it, women are not afraid of men. Uh, women will get up in the faces of dudes. That's why when dudes are afraid to approach a woman, I, I mean, I don't know why you would be because women aren't afraid to approach you. Like, I, I literally, I was in the store one time, and this lady just walked up to me and said, hey, can you help me? And I'm like, well, I look like I work in this store. <laughs> but that, again, you know, maybe because, you know, I guess, you know, people are comfortable around me, you know. I mean, they're not weirded out by me. They can they walk up to me, you know. So, I guess in that, that instance, uh, she did. And she asked me to help her with something in the store like I work. I, at first, I was about to say, I don't work here. But she was an older lady. So, I said, okay. You know. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. What can I say? But, when, women, for the most part, um, will act a certain way because again they have issues in their own life. Father didn't probably didn't have a father figure, right? Their home life was terrible. They probably grew up in the system, or they grew up living with relatives. They've never known what love was like. And I said it earlier that this female probably had to get into altercations with people growing up because she may have been like the non-melanated chick around, you know, melanated girls growing up. So she always had to get into it. And, and act tough there's a facebook page called asians never die and they share this story post there is a lot of annie black commentary in that thread from members i mean that doesn't surprise me um people feel some type of way about us and you know what that's you know it is what it is that's part of life that's part of life you know and uh I think that those other groups do don't like us, but you know what? I don't care as long as you don't say it in front of my face. Like people can say anything in a comment section or a message board. I've been there. I used to see what was said in, in, in comment sections on websites um, about us, especially us as black men. I've seen it, but you know what? I don't let that dictate my life. I don't care what a stranger has to say about me on a on a social media post. But what I am troubled by is the fact that we perpetuate these stereotypes and we're out here making things worse for ourselves. And when I say that, it's because all these videos of us doing crazy things, we post them. We always recording, but we ain't never seen nothing. All right. We're, we're recording the crazy things that we do. I would knock the Panda Express out them boppers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, listen, he probably thought about it and said, you know what, I don't want to lose my job. But again, would you blame him? You know, would you blame him? Like, this is totally unnecessary. 
but he probably has a family to take care of. A lot of these chicks don't care that these men have families. They have a wife. They have children that they have to take care of. They just want to ruin somebody's day. They didn't like the fact that he told them to get out of his to get out of his car because it tells me that the reason why he started recording was because they were already acting up when they got into his car. So because they got into his car acting up, they felt the need. No, no, he felt the need to record them and kick them out. So they felt the need to retaliate and get angry instead of leaving. They don't think about things. They just think about the emotion. That's why, you know, women are very, very much emotional. Women are more emotional. Well, and that may not be true nowadays. I think you got just as many emotional women as you do emotional males. These males are as emotional as women. Ouch. What's up, Silent Gary? Appreciate it. These males are just as emotional as the women. I mean, there's no difference. There's literally no difference with these guys. So I can't just say women are emotional. Get, these males are emotional too. Uh, years of being raised by a single mother um, has ruined these males to beyond repair, right? To beyond repair. They have been ruined. Shout out to everybody. So make sure y'all like the stream. I want y'all to also understand that in today's age, Men have to look east and west constantly to avoid the pitfalls of cancel culture, of being falsely Cardi accused. Cardi B, Meg, Nikki, you know? and JT help these poison girls. It wasn't just them. I think this is a, what's happening now. I think they're benefiting to the slower culture, but I think it's been it's been building for quite some time. I think it's been building for quite some time. Once you gave women the, 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 the opportunity to put photos of themselves on the internet, and, you know, that changed everything, you know, Instagram looked a lot different. What, 10 years ago than it did now. I mean, the women were a lot more clothed. Now, every page you go to, no matter if it's a small page or a big page, they all of them trying to be scrippers, all of them trying to be IG models. You got chick with a couple thousand followers. She trying to be a, a Instagram model. You know, even though she's working and got kids to take care of, she finds the time to go and thirst trap. Good luck trying to find a good man doing that. You should be thirst trapping for the guy that you're in the relationship with. And I'm not talking about on public posts. But times are different. Times are different. And um, a lot of what's going on, man, we, we are dealing with a different type of crazy um, the lunacy out here has grown and I want y'all to understand that calling this stuff out is not bashing. You're speaking the truth about what is being done. I don't think anything is wrong with that. I don't think anything is wrong with that. I think that a lot of these females are just losing their minds. They're going crazy and they just don't know how to deal with the reality that a lot of them are not going to find the guy that they want. They're not going to get that rich, that rich man that they all are clamoring for. I think they're being sold a dream by the quote unquote level up communities, by the gold diggers. They're being sold the dream by the women that they follow. They think they can follow in those footsteps, right? Like not every chick with a nice body or in the gym got to be a fitness trainer, but you don't have one photo of you with a client. I mean, it's delusion. Um, your modern day female is completely delusional. She does not see what the reality of the world is. And the world has changed. And you, you got to understand that men have always had to adjust. Women have never really adjusted. Women have just adapted. We have to adjust to not only having to deal with false accusations, having to deal with belligerent women who think that they could they can get away with disrespecting us. Right. Women who have power, who, you know, misuse it. Um, we have to look at a lot of things. Guys that have money and resources, right? 
They got to de- They don't want. They get married. They don't want to have to divorce their wife because they already know what's going to happen. That's why those guys don't get married, right? So that's just a lot of the pitfalls that we have. A lot of things that we have to deal with. I just think people. I just hope people understand that. That you know, you got women who try to take advantage of guys because they think that they can get that guy in trouble. And a lot of these guys are in a no win situation because they say, "Hey, if I retaliate, I'm going to get fired. You know, I may I may face charges." And I don't want to necessarily have to deal with that. Right? They don't want to have to deal with that. But in today's day and age, man, there's really no way that you can avoid the, the Uber issues. driver should have driven to the police station. <clears throat> he I, I believe he filed a report. I think he filed a report, you know. A lot of these modern women are gonna die alone. Well, don't tell them that. <laughs> That's going to make them angry. Shout out to Vernon. Vernon, appreciate the cash out, bro. Don't tell them that. It'll drive them crazy. But yes, I do agree. A lot of them are going to be very much alone. And they're going to be suffering. <laughs> and they have nobody to blame but themselves. You can't blame content creators. You can't blame, you know, people speaking their opinions. We got to look at the, why these modern women are just completely losing their minds. We got to look at the, the overall issue here. They've gotten away with this for so long. The reason why they can go off on this Uber driver is because they've done this before. And a lot of these guys don't want to get fired from their jobs. So they take it, unfortunately. But men are the problem. But men are just out here just going, you know, just going after women. That's a lie. That's propaganda. Yes, you have stories of men who don't handle rejection well, but it's all propaganda. Women have used the law and authority to cover their bad choices since they were kids. Appreciate that pot smoke. Oh, yeah, they use everything. They use the court of public opinion, which is actually very strong. The court of public opinion is very strong, okay? And when you're dealing with the court of public opinion, you're going to have to deal with the fact that you're going to be judged based off of her being a woman and you being a man. So anything she says is immediately going to be believed, right? She's going to be put in that situation where she's going to be able to tell people what you said or did to her, and a lot of people are going to believe her first, because you have to believe all women. That's the narrative they want to go off of. That's the narrative they, narrative they want to go off of. But again, that's why I think it's good he recorded um, that people got to see how these women act, right? And uh, understand what these guys got to go through. You don't see videos of dudes getting in the cows and just going off on the female Uber drivers. Not at all. But you will see women doing this because women know that they have, the, again, people on their side the already. The calmer and stoic a man gets, the more women act a fool. Guys, control your emotions. They want win. Absolutely. I do agree with that. You definitely have to control your emotions. You can't let your emotions get the better of you. And he, to to a degree, he did. I think he did a lot. Um, it may have been tough for him um, because no man wants to be disrespected like that. But I think he understood in that moment that he needed to show people how these women were acting. And I'm sure that they have done this <clears throat> before. I don't think this is the first time they've done this. People consume too much media and it's made them delusional and narcissistic and it's showing that's a big reason why I don't consume media anymore. Right. Appreciate that. Ken. Shout out to Focus as well. Yeah, media is, is, a, is, is just a, a waste. Me, the media today is a dump. Nobody should even think about listening to it. It's there's no reason to listen to main lamestream media. <clears throat> they do nothing but lie and deceive. 
Uh, that's why people should go out and seek independent sources on their own, you know. Um, but you know what I think this Uber driver should do? I think this Uber driver should go and start a GoFundMe. I think he should start a GoFundMe. Listen, if the helpers can do it, he can do it. Okay? You got helpers getting GoFundMe's just to get another, get, which shows you why these, these chicks are dumb. You know, they, they buying one-way tickets and getting stuck. And they're able to get $1,600 from GoFundMe. I think maybe he should get a GoFundMe for his pain and suffering. Why not? Get a GoFundMe for your pain and suffering, brother. <laughs> oh, he already did? <laughs> oh, he got a GoFundMe? Get somebody, if they got a link to that, send it to me. Definitely drop a donation for him. And by the way, I find it interesting. This, this chick is, is motioning her mouth to cough on this guy. Ain't no telling where her mouth has been, okay? And we're not just talking about the Rona. You know, you know these chicks put their mouths in different places. That's why I tell y'all, you may not want to be kissing them. I don't care how cute you think they are. Right? But the levels of disrespect towards men is just, it's wrong. Let's see. Let's take a few phone calls, shall we? Call in and talk about the topic only, okay? Only. <laughs> no side stories, please. We don't need any side stories. I know y'all got stories for days. I get it. Yeah, they lift. Yeah, Lyft and Uber should definitely ban both of those girls. All three. What? Well, all three of them. Shoot, all three of them should be gone. You know, the one in the middle may be like, I didn't say nothing. She's been banned from Uber and Lyft. Oh, she's already been banned. Good. So that that so now she can't get a lift to her <laughs> to her uh broke boyfriend's house because he ain't got no car. Maybe that's why she was so mad. You know, she was dizzy deprived. You know, he's screwing other women and she's off being single, not getting none. Maybe I think that's what made that, that mood a whole lot worse. And maybe the Uber driver reminded her of the dude. I don't know. Right. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? Nothing much, man. What's going on? Hey, it's big boss, man. All hey, right. I'm, hey, just, hey, I just, I'm on, I'm on my break, man, but I, um, great great life great life is always thanks man, man. appreciate um, as far it as the, I, i'm not now i will say this though i'm not familiar with the whole um uber thing but bro i can tell you from me doing stories as a com as a content creator mm -hmm. my day i remember um now i know you said no five stories but these females be going off making threats making false allegations it's just it just seems like it gotten worse Mm hmm. Yeah. And I, <laughs> but and it's just and it's just like this. It's just it's just it's just to a point of no return. The hatred for a man, especially melanated, especially mm -hmm. for a man, it's just it's just the, it's all about power. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling guys, um, they say they women like power, right? Mm -hmm. They don't. <laughs> they do not like power. They only like power if you're Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a Joe Biden mindset, of course they like you in power. Uh huh. Now, when it comes to when it comes to Trump, yeah, he, no, no way. Yeah, yeah, he's too strong he's a personality. They need somebody they can control. You know what I'm saying? They, they yeah, feel like but they control, if yeah. you in, if you in position, like, but how can you be in power? But you don't run anything. That's crazy. Same with when it comes to provider with money. Mm -hmm. They control you, but you were supposed to be the. As the breath with the element, I'd be confused. I'd be yeah. confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the delusion is real. Absolutely. I mean, you, Kevin Sanders, y'all keep doing y'all thing. I, I'm, hey, man, you inspired me to come back. <laughs> but, okay, cool. Hey, you yeah, man, but, man, keep speaking truth to power. Hey, stand your ground. That's what I Thanks. keep telling you guys, just stand your ground. 
Appreciate it, man. Don't don't don't, don't panic. Just stay in your ground. Yeah. Look, you ain't missing nothing if they don't want to be with you. Right. You ain't missing nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> but I want to go back to work, but nice talking to you. All right, good talking to you too, Big Boss. Talk to you later. Thank you. All right. Shout out to Big Boss taking time away from his, you know, I guess he was on break. But shout out to him. Like the stream, people. Oh, let me uh, let me put the Patreon in the chat. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and support the ad-free content over there that I'm producing. The content on Patreon is just getting better and better, man. Getting getting my creative creative spirit going. All right. Because I have to admit, my creative spirit kind of, it kind of went the way, like, when the whole ad apocalypse shit happened a couple of years ago, there's a lot of things I just did not do. There's a lot of projects I did not do. But I feel like I can get back to doing that on Patreon, man. So, the content is getting better and better over there. So, make sure y'all go and, and, and definitely subscribe over there. Yeah, man, definitely focus on yourself. I just think that um, the truth tellers are, are growing. Um, and I noticed that there's a pushback towards men who are being, you know, more and more honest with women. And they're checking women and they're putting women in their place. And, you know, you can't put women in their place in this society, especially the melanated woman, because they're trying to build up the melanated woman to be above the men. Right. So if the men are telling her, you know, she's delusional, she's she's going to be alone forever, that throws a monkey wrench into those into those plans and they're fighting back against that. But it's a losing battle because you have both men and women saying, you know what? We don't like the fact that you're pedestalizing these women to be a single and alone, right? I've seen multiple publications where they try, they showcase the melanated woman as being single and alone and a drunk, basically a messy drunk. Like, do you want that to be your image? Because that's how they want you to be perceived. They want you to be a notch below that Caucasian woman. That, and, and I want you to understand that. Do not buy into the programming. They're, they're fooling you. They're turning you into monsters. They're turning you into little monsters. And it's starting to affect every community. Their women are out of control. We got men going the wrong way across the world. You got men who are red pilling across the world. I got people who call my show from across the world. Anybody else say that? <laughs> I got callers from everywhere, man. You know? Everywhere. People that tune in. Shout out to the foreign, the foreign fans and subscribers. I know you're there. This is a worldwide movement. And none of you hating heifers and you lame simps can stop it. None of you. Okay? Because I guarantee you, any one of you enabling males got talked to the way that this Uber driver was talked to, you'd be talking about you going MGTOW too. Because I've seen you dudes get mad about something and want to go your own way. Two, no, 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 no. You can't go your own way because you were yelled at. It has to be, some, it has to be a lifestyle change. And some of these guys don't want to change their lifestyle. They just want to be upset for a little while and go right back to every way, the way things were before. You know, these guys are crazy, man. Just like these three heifers, man. Well, I say two. I'm, I'm going to leave the one in the middle out of it. But them two heifers on the end, man. It's crazy. I bet that Uber smelled like weave, Smirnoff, and Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Not the Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Felt like perm and <laughs> hairspray and what's that? What's that bottle they call? Was it spritz? Whatever that stuff. Grease and lotion. Women have a short shelf life. Men win long term. Appreciate it, Larry. All right. 
hold up, what nothing boys say? The Hurt Health Coalition. Exactly. It's the Hurt Health Coalition led by disgruntled males and females. The Hurt Health Coalition is real, people. Y'all, y'all think it ain't real. It's real. There's a real Hurt Health Commission out here, a coalition, and it just hurt. Their feelings are hurt. Y'all seen these males back to back shows in here to try they think that they are calling me out or they're making fun of me or something like that or in defense of of women but they got to understand um you look bad you prove my point as to why uh a lot of these women don't respect you why these women disrespect you again i've never had a woman like just be straight out disrespectful towards me especially a woman that i'm screwing she ain't disrespecting me like that. Hmm. Spritz was in the 90s. I remembered it. I had to go back. I had to go back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all have, y'all in relationships right now with women that be disrespecting you, telling you to shut up and take out the garbage and ain't giving you none. MG Toe is definitely the move for the future because the way women are this day and age, there's... No point in even wasting your time. Much love, Jay. Appreciate it, Ken. Shout out to you. Yeah, I don't have women just disrespecting me, withholding uh, relations from me, um, yelling at me to take out the garbage, leaving the house and being gone for all, all day long. You know, she don't want me going nowhere near her phone, even though I'm, you know, I'm not the one to go pick up and swipe and see what a woman's phone is, but... I know some of you dudes probably would. <laughs> you know, you don't know what your girl up to, man. Probably double digit clutching for all we know. <laughs> Y'all know these chicks, man. These chicks always got multiple upon multiple options out here, man. And trust me, they're exercising them. You know why? Because they don't respect you. They have no respect for you. So, yeah, don't come at me. Um, worry about your situation. A lot of you with women that don't respect you. I would hate to be with a woman that don't respect me, like talking shit to me and withholding, you know, withholding. I, I would not want to be in that situation at all. I would not want to be, especially if I'm bringing home the money. Because some of y'all paying, taking care of bills and you still get no respect. You still can't get none. Or if you do, she don't even want to, she ain't even want to have relations with you. You know, it's crazy. She more into her phone listening to me. No, I'm just joking. But she is not listening to you. I'm telling you, man, your wives and girlfriends are listening to my show, man. They're waking up. That's what you're mad about. A lot of these guys, a lot of these enabling males, they're, they're part of the what? They're part of the, uh, the, the, the health of, the bitter health of coalition these enabling males they think they're in relationships with the with the woman that you know cares about them respects them but she's actually looking for a way out okay because she realizes that you're not worth it okay mm -hmm. now come on what's good ed niece so i, I y'all see where the pent up in the, the pent up anger at me comes from that Right? But shout out to everybody that's here. Make sure y'all like the stream. All right. This is another reason why to keep your resents men. Almost got caught up, but lol it off and showed him the evidence. I may be quiet, but no punk. Right. They realize that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, man, you, you got to be smarter. There's not, nothing. You see, that's the thing. The smart guys, the intelligent, intuitive guys, the guys that always have every, themselves organized will always be able to outmaneuver these other guys. I don't care how street smart you are. You know, I don't care how book smart you are. If you are a guy who thinks logically, who, you know, thinks before he acts, he takes the right steps. 
you're always going to be able to move a lot differently and a lot more quickly, quickly, a lot quicker than than most people. Right. I just want y'all to, to be able to to lead happy lives and not be bitter and miserable. Right. That's what I want y'all to do. There's a lot of bitterness and hatred. When I look on this platform, I see all these bitter people. I, I don't get it. Where is the love? <laughs> yeah, greatest you can call in. No side stories. And uh, keep it as brief as possible. Shout out to Ed Nice. Jay, here's my late fee. I appreciate that, Ed Nice. And you have to be patient, you know. Um, the older I've gotten, the more patient I, I've gotten. Sometimes you have to be patient, you know. You got to let things play out. Some people aren't. Some people are never patient. But yeah, man, I, I see all the women that are so hurt. And emotional. Jay, here's my late fee. Appreciate it, Ed Nice. I see all these bitter, hurt women, man. And you could just tell, like, they are some hurt females, but they don't get therapy. Their therapy is to put down other people. And again, I know you got content to make. Maybe it's content. Okay. You know, your content is to put down men, but you can tell that. There's a lot of pain that goes beyond content. It is like it's an all day, everything, everything, everyday thing. What's good, loving homes? They just have this hurt and this pain about them. When I see some of these women, the videos I make, you could just tell that they probably have gotten rejected a lot more than, than most typical girls because they out here chasing men that don't want them. And that's the thing that people don't want to talk about. There may be a different topic for a different day. You got women who con who get rejected probably more than they than the typical female would because they're out here trying to get in relationships with men that don't want them like that. Those men will have relations with them, but those men won't won't actually get into a relationship with them. And they carry that bitterness. They, they get rejected from this guy that they really, really want. They get rejected from that guy they really want. They're getting, they, they, they're out here chasing the men that don't really want them like that. Instead of the typical girl dating a guy who is going to want them, they're chasing dudes who will say, okay, you know, I'll sleep with you. You could be my side piece, but, you know, or you could be my rebound, but, you know, I'm not going to be in no long-term relationship with you. No, I don't want you putting me on your Instagram, Okay. Don't put me on your TikTok, all right? Don't tell nobody about me, okay? We may we can go to the we can go to the movies or we can go out and you know eat something every once in a while, but that's about it. And you got women that will be okay with that as long as they get the guy they want. But what happens when that guy just completely drops you? He done got bored. He no longer wants you. Those are the type of helpers you're seeing on YouTube. And social media talking about colorism. They're talking about, you know, guys not, you know, wanting them because they're melanated women. And they're not really being honest and saying that they're reaching for men that don't want them. Those guys got options. They don't really want you like that. You're just, you're a good time. And these women, they don't understand that because other men give them a whole lot of attention, <clears throat> but, but they don't want those men, right? They think they deserve better, but you really don't deserve better. You deserve exactly where you're at. You are, you are on a tier system. You're, you've tiered out. You have peaked. This is as far as you're going to go. And a lot of women have a problem with that, but there's more women than men. And a lot of these women don't get that. 
you're going to miss out, especially if you're chasing behind men who have other women. If some of these guys like women, you know what I'm saying? Some of these guys probably don't even like women. I mean, I mean, we do. I mean, we got to be real. You know, sometimes a half a man so this chick is better than a man. Hey, Jay, I see you doing your thing. Heart with ribbon, full score, folded hands, medium dark skin tone. Shout out to China White. What's going on, China? Appreciate that. Shout out to you, man. Seeing you here. Okay. Shout out to construction experts again. Says, I was there. I had to take my respect back. Appreciate that, man. Definitely. Yeah, men should definitely take their respect back. Don't let nobody demean you, disrespect you because they think that they can get you fired from your job. They think they can hold that over your head. None of these women have that type of power. They're powerless. This is why they act out because they're powerless, especially in the dating market. The dating market will always put will always put women exactly where they're supposed to be. If you're single and you've been single for two, three, four years, that's where you're supposed to be because you're reaching for you're reaching for a level that you cannot reach. You have maxed out. It's over. It's a wrap. Deal with it. That this is your life. Your life is exactly where it's at. It has peaked. It's over. Let it go. Stop being bitter. You're not. I don't care how many of these these courses you pay for from Michaela Pink. You have peaked. It's over. Isa four to one in that day. Seven women will take hold of one man and say, "We will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace." That day is here. Appreciate that, Bruce. Yeah, today is very interesting. It's very interesting time, man. And that's what we're getting to. We're getting to a point to where a lot of women are probably going to link up with one guy. They're going to have to. Out of necessity. Because they, they didn't think they needed that before. But everything a lot of these modern women have has been provided to them. They're not really building for the future they're just building for the right now and what happens when a lot of the men that you want just say hey i'm not no longer taking applications i can't put you in no rotation i'm not gonna be in a relationship with you what are those women gonna do right they're gonna have to link up with men who can provide them something that they don't have but a lot of these chicks have peaked man that's why they're ranting and raving on youtube that's why they're ranting and raving on social media because they have peaked. It's over for them. They need to be more understanding of that. You're not going to get a rapper. You're not going to get an athlete. Okay. You're not going to get somebody's husband. You have peaked. It is, you need to figure that out. And there's a lot of women who've been rejected so much than the, than the typical normal woman has because there are women who are not going to be chasing behind no dude. But unfortunately, there are women who have extreme low self-esteem. They go out here and they're chasing after men who only see them as somebody that they can have relations with. That's it. But they so delusional, they think that they can... They think that they can put it on him so good that he's just going to say, hey, you know what? I want a relationship instead. That's never going to happen. If a dude is already getting the milk for free, why, why is he going to care about the cow? Why is he going to care about doing all the work to milk the cow? You know what I'm saying? Why, why would he want to put that work in? When he's already getting the milk already, everything is already done for him. He doesn't have to do the work. That's why they're so mad. Because they know that that, you know, uh, the delusion that has been fed to them for a number of years is that you can get any man you want. That's not reality. That's look at the numbers. So they may have to turn to polyamory if these women like to share, because a lot of you are sharing anyway. A lot of y'all are sharing anyway. 
Don't get mad at me. Look at your life. How many times have you found out you was the side chick? How many times you found out your dude had like two, three other women? You're sharing anyway. I mean, y'all like men that got other women, right? Do you think those guys just going to drop those women to be with you? That ain't going to happen either. I mean, especially if those women are freaks. Let's just be real. I'm being honest with y'all. Being honest with y'all. What's your thoughts on military men? Uh, I've heard that there are women that be trying to get kids by military men because military men, for the most part, make a good living and have good benefits and it benefits them. So I, I have heard of women going after military men. I have. Uh, TJ. I've heard of that. It's not as much, I don't want to say that's as much known, but I, I, like, especially younger chicks, like, fresh out of high school or in college or at college age, they may look to settle down early to get, to get that, st that, that, um, stability early in life, you know? But yeah, definitely, definitely military, man. Absolutely. Especially if you a career military man. Oh yeah. That, that stability they want that stability. <clears throat> I just want a lot of you ladies to understand you cannot be out here putting your hands on men, disrespecting men, and think that at some point it won't come back on you. Because when you put out negative energy, and I told y'all, you need to stop putting the negative energy out because it's going to come back on you. Um, put out good energy. You know, put out good vibes you know you never know what that does for people yourself uh your fortune right so definitely so definitely you want to put out good energy because you'll get that back even if you don't feel like saying hey to people or, or even smiling that can make somebody's day, especially a young lady who's lonely. <laughs> you never know when somebody's just lonely in life, you know what I'm saying? And you give them a, a smile, you know? Because there's a lot of lonely women out here, man, who are hurt, talking about they want to level up and divest. How are you going to divest when you have no people skills? You don't even know how to have a conversation. You're putting your hands on Uber drivers. Your exes won't even call you back. Your friends don't like you. Your family don't like you. Your mother won't speak to you. Every time you talk to your mother, it gets into a cursing match. You just bring toxic energy wherever you go. The rapper, if he does that, and one of those women lose their life, they're not, they're going to change that. And most of those women are going to complain anyway. No woman wants to be on the front lines. That's just cap. No woman wants to fight on the front lines. That's a bunch of cap. I say put them on the front lines. We, we lose a lot of men on the front lines. Put women on there if they want to fight so bad. Put them up there. I bet you once they're actually in, they're actually in that zone area, they won't, they won't want to be there very long. I guarantee you they would immediately ask to go back to the medical unit or the uh, kitchen, wherever. They will not want to be anywhere near the front lines. That's a bunch of cap. I mean, why not? If they want to fight, let them fight. I'm equal opportunity. Listen, if you ladies want to go out there and you want to fight for your country, by all means, I'm not going to stop you. See, that's what happens when you're trying to keep women from doing what they want to do. If you want to go out here in these countries, these hostile countries, and you want to be on the front lines in hostile countries, then you go do it. You go do it. As soon as one of those ladies lose their life, they're going to want a whole shift. They're going to say, hey, we, we want to change this. We, we can't have women losing their lives like this especially if those women get captured because they like capturing women 
So if those women want to be put in a situation where they're getting captured and in prison in these hostile countries, by all means. They want to go on the front lines so badly, let them do it. So they want equality so bad, let them go up there. Send them in. Once they feel how hot it really is, they're not going to want to be there very long. They just want to be able to say I fought on the front lines when they just hiding behind the men that whole time. Mr. Mr. Pendant, you don't know why they, they I'm, I'm not you don't know why they like to capture the women? <sighs> because they feel like they can break those women. That's why. And whatever else that go on. But I do think women need to, to pass these these uh these physical tests. I mean, you got all these fitness coaches online. All these women claiming to be in the best physical shape. Why don't they pass the same test that these men are required to pass? If they want to fight so badly, you know. I just think it's all cap. These women just want, just like the the new um, the new NFL referee, the female. She was a part of the um, XFL. She's a cute female, right? Um, I've seen an interview with her. You know, she seemed like about business i don't think she's one of these women that are waving the you know the pink flag of femininity over masculinity type shit you know people are praising this these women just want to be around a bunch of men let's just be real these women just these these women just want to be in male groupings that's all they don't need they i bet you those women don't even like other women that's why they want to be around a bunch of men. Whenever you see a woman trying to be in a male grouping or a male space, male dominated space, it's because one, they really don't like other women and they want to be the center of attention. They want to be that one female that gets to be a part of what men are doing. Right. And people are praising this as if it's a great thing. Listen, she's not who you think she is. She's not one of these. Again, I'm not. I haven't been on her social media, so I, but just from my seeing her and her in, do an interview, after, she don't. She just seemed like one of these tomboys that just whatever the boys did, she did, right? She's not one of these Karen. She's not one of these women talking about feminism. Number one, J men in women's sports is stupid. But what about female refs in the NFL? Also, I doubt there will be female umpires in the MLB. No, because um, the MLB isn't as important as the NFL or even the NBA. So, no, they're not going to fight hard. And it, it, um, the MLB is not as much of a virtue signaler as the NFL. Roger Goodell has run the NFL into the ground. Pub, uh, I would say socially because the guy just buckles. I mean, he, he's a $40 million puppet. He does whatever the media wants him to do, whatever the owners want him to do. He's a $40 million, $40 million a year puppet, man. And, and what was funny is that Roger Goodell, for one year, didn't take a salary, even though the previous years he was making a shit ton of money, right? And he probably was getting paid money from other business dealers because he probably has businesses outside the NFL that makes money for him. So the symbolic gesture of saying, hey, I'll – I'll just make five, 10 million from my businesses or my investments and I won't make my $40 million salary, but I'll make that salary back next year to do what? To make the, the, the NFL softer and weaker and a, a, a buffoon fest. Now I will give him credit on one thing. The Super Bowl went off without a hitch. The playoffs went on without a hitch, which was good, right? They got people, people at the Super Bowl. It went off, you know, smoothly. I'll give him credit for that. But all this virtue signaling is it just shows you that people will do anything to maintain their spot, to maintain their power. They will virtue signal. They will bend things in order to maintain their position like Mitch McConnell. 
would do anything to maintain the little bit of power they have, even turn on their own people, quote unquote, if he ever was, turn his own party or parts of it, would do anything to maintain power, anything. And they will use you women to do it. They used melanated people to support one P100 party. One hundred does. Goodell is a licensed lawyer. Right. Yeah. Roger Goodell has plenty of money. He makes plenty of money, even outside of football. Makes plenty of money. Roger Goodell is a rich man. Okay. But they have a weak leader. He is no Paul Tagliabue. Paul Tagliabue was doing press conferences wearing, you know, New England Patriot uh, shirt, man. He don't care. <laughs> and he's a commissioner. He didn't care. But Roger Goodell, he cares about what y'all think. I mean, what the fans think, what the social justice warriors think. He cares, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can call in. I haven't stopped the call-ins. It just, um, I guess a lot of people weren't calling in today. It'd be like that. People are shy, man. <clears throat> and yes, men and women could call into the show. I know I ha I don't put the phone line out there too much. I think the people that want to call in be leaving early. I don't know. <laughs> They're like, oh, this dude ain't going to take no calls. I'm out of here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this I'm here for the calls man <laughs> but salute to everybody that's here regardless man Yeah, the NBA is, um, man, them ratings. How about them ratings for the NBA All-Star game, man? <laughs> Talk about how to go go broke. Media companies are going broke. Oh, man. No matter how much equality women get in this Western society, most modern women still want. Be satisfied. I agree, uh, Moron. Moron, appreciate it. Uh, because again, that's, that's the thing. It's against their nature to have all this freedom. People going to get upset with that, but that's true. Like it's almost like nowadays, like we're not having this, we're not as happy because we don't have nothing to look forward to. Like we have everything that we want right now, technology wise. Uh, we got all these streaming services. Y'all remember what it was like when you had to pay extra on your cable bill just to have on demand, Right. Who, who remember when, when Wi-Fi became a big deal? When you was looking forward to getting the, the brand new smartphones, you know, when the, the day of the flip phone was over, even though some people still got their flip phones. Flip phones are very reliable. I understand. When you look forward to certain movies or certain television shows, because you knew that the only place you'd be able to see it was on TV. That's why award shows don't do well, because the, the, the show is already... You know, you have, you know, you know, you can see it on Twitter. Basically, you have nothing to look forward to. Nothing to look forward to. We have everything we want. You didn't hear you didn't see all this social justice BS, right? Like people have made themselves completely unlikable with their political opinions. I just want some of these people to go to some of these countries that don't have the same thing as we have here. Even in 2021, they take this stuff for granted, right? Uh, the trap phone yeah it is the flip phone definitely that trap phone i worked with a guy years ago man 
he he had him he had him a smartphone, but he also had a flip phone. But he used that flip phone more than anything. We don't go out. We don't have interactions with people every day anymore. We don't know what it's like to have interactions with people anymore, man. Everybody's face is buried in their phones. People don't even know how to say hey to each other. You have to say hey loud and clear so people can actually hear you or understand you or want to say something to you. You have to be like, hey, how you doing? You know, because that's how I be. I, I get, listen, man, I get petty. If I if I wave or say hey to you and, and it seemed like I'm not getting your attention, I'll say it for the second time. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'll say it for the second time. You know what I'm saying? That's that mean we, we just don't talk to each other. We don't outside of social media, we don't. You know why? Because people are stuck doing goofy long live streams. They're on Instagram all day long. They're on Facebook in these Facebook groups flirting. With other people outside their relationships, like, or we on date now. It's like we're everywhere but outside. And and it's, this goes for the people that have a job where they have to go out and and work outside the house. They go from the job straight home, or they'll go maybe they'll go to the club or the bar. You know what I'm saying? But even in their day to day interactions, they just you know even at the store or whatever, the interactions are just terrible. You know what y'all gonna y'all gonna um y'all gonna be like well Jay what I haven't seen coming to America yet I will but I haven't seen it yet okay hold on people saying they can't get through the call ins well um if you're listening construction experts I put the number in the chat. I don't know why y'all can't call in. If you can hear me, construction experts. Um, I don't know if something is wrong with my uh, Skype. With the call in. But. But I'm looking at the call log. And. um don't see any new numbers here. So uh, maybe there's something going on that I don't know about with the call number because it usually is very, very, very reliable. So again, I'm, I may just have to cap the calls and just try again. I have to go into it, maybe go out of it and go back in and see why it isn't accepted. Because it accepted two calls today, well, one call today. And, you know, after that, it was no call. So I don't know why. I don't know why it's not showing up here. Well, I don't know why it's ringing and nobody's not picking it up because I'm looking at it right now. It might be some technical issues on their end, not mine, because I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right. I just took I took a call from Big Boss Calvin. Big, Big Boss Calvin called in. There was no issues, so I don't I don't know why. I don't know why it's uh it's not um take call. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Let me see. I don't know why. Yeah, but it's not accepting anybody right now. Accepted one call from Big Boss Calvin. So let me see. I know that number is right. I put in a right. That's the number. Um, maybe y'all should save the number in your phone unless I change it. it says Jay's calling. But uh, yeah, nobody's calling in, man. Coming to America was bad, but nostalgic though. Man, shrugging okay. dark skin tone. I'm still gonna go. I'm still gonna check it out though. I still because they said people like. Um, from I understand, people liked uh, Wesley Snipes' performance, and I'm a fan of Wesley Snipes, so I, I'm definitely still gonna check it out. Um, just been busy, man. Again, I told you, man. I I got you got all these streaming services, all these different films you can watch, and I have Amazon Prime, uh, so. Um, I, I definitely try to check it out when I can.
I think it's going to have, I'm, I, I like nostalgic films, but I don't want the nostalgia to veer off and them try to implement something that is like 2021. Like, keep it nostalgic, add some new things to it, but try to keep it as nostalgic as possible when you're doing a sequel to a 1980s film, right? Leslie Jones was a star. Oh, boy. <laughs> Leslie Jones was being Leslie Jones in the movie. I I bet I bet she was cuz that's all she is. Leslie Jones is Leslie Jones. A black jack I feel you, man. Uh yeah, I I'm, They would have got out of my car for real. Wesley Stipes is my cousin. Oh yeah, Steven. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this call in. Leslie Jones almost took me out the movie. I hope not, man. I don't like I I don't like anything she's ever been in. And I've only watched maybe one or two things she's been in. And I said no more. No more Leslie Jones. Kenya Burris from Blackish ruined it. Bad writing. They should have brought back, if they could, the, the, the other writers from the, the previous film. That's what they do. I mean, Mad Max uh, sequel, the, the Mad Max, um, the newer one that came out a couple of years back, had what, the original director? And um, did they have the original writer? They should have brought back some of the original people to work on it. When you bringing in all these people that don't have nothing to do with the original property, they're going to write it their own way. They should have made sure that the same creative team that, that was a part of that film at least brings some of those people back to work on ideas. But, you know, you want to go at what's going on right now, and it's like, no, you got to keep the nostalgia going. These people know nothing about the original film, the nuances, how to utilize the characters. What the audience is going to want to see again. I mean, you they brought back the, the older characters, right? But if you're writing them in, in, in a 2020 way, it, it's going to um, push people away. You know you know who they should have maybe brought into the writing team? The people that did the um, the Shaft. What was it? Was it? Wasn't that movie Shaft with uh, Samuel L. Jackson? Maybe they should have you know, did that instead of going the other way, you know, cause at, that, at least that movie was very much so a throwback, right? It was a throwback type film in the way that it was presented. It wasn't no feminist overtones. It wasn't no social justice. It was actually making fun of the, you know, the, the culture now, which was entertaining, which is one of the reasons why I liked it. They should did something similar to that, but, of course, they're going to go this route because they think we're going to get the most people to want to like this film. And when I see that people, a bunch of people aren't liking it, you know, I'm already dreading it. But, you know, hey. Because people want to see something different. We, we, we're seeing a bunch of feminizing and a bunch of social justice stuff being implemented in films and TV, and it's and it's completely destroying it. But shout out to everybody that's here, man. Salute to y'all, man. It's been a good live stream so far. I hope these health is never able to uh, ride an Uber ever again. Yeah, Jane, I'm still going to watch it.
Shout out to Eric Bird. Uh, Eric Bird, appreciate it. Thank you for addressing us. Saw this on IG. Yeah, man, this is it's a lot of BS going on with this video. <clears throat> Thank you for addressing this. I saw this IG. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Oh, you know I was going to talk about this. Like, it's telling you, man, This, this it, it tells you a lot of what's going on with these women of today, man. These women of today are crazy. And they don't need to be riding on no Uber ever again. Ever. Uh, let's see. So, so I heard that movie, not movie, I heard that that video was a, was a fake. I heard that video was a fake. And after watching a few times, it looks like it could have been sort of like a, you know, a, like, I'm saying like a prank video, but it could have been a, a video to go viral, you know, maybe to promote his girlfriend's, you know, modeling career, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? I would have, because just the anger wasn't legitimate, you know what I'm saying? And we all know that that dude is not kicking that chick out, okay? We know that chick is going to come right back. Y'all know the video of the chick getting kicked out um, for wanting to go to Atlanta. Now, that would be real. I can see one of these chicks saying, you know, screw this. I'm going to go to Atlanta to see how many, you know, rappers or athletes, you know, they can hook up with. And they know that because you, you know, you're, you know, you like how they look and you don't want them to leave you, you know, you're going to accept them back. You know, these chicks know that you're going to accept them back. You're not going to just, you know, kick them out. They know you're going to let them come back, you know? I think they call she's for the streets. I think that's what they call the video. She's for the streets. Let me see if I can find this video. <clears throat> Instead of me just talking about it, let's see if I can find it. Uh, I mean, it could be real. Who knows? I I wouldn't doubt it because, again, man, these females, man, if they have an opportunity just to be around running these rappers, they're going to do it. Especially if they out here scripting. <laughs> Especially if they... Especially if they in that lifestyle, man. <laughs> Especially if they in this lifestyle, man. There's some overtime bonus. All right. Now, this is the video. Let's take a look at this. She for the streets. Chick tells her boyfriend. Yeah, Chick tells her boyfriend she's going to Atlanta for All-Star Weekend, and she was actually, she says she was going to see her sick grandmother. Who believes that? She was going to see, no, not, not sick grandmother, excuse me, her sick auntie. It's, it's saved. You don't trust me. It's saved. No, I don't trust you. No. Why? One year relationship Why? you don't trust me? Because you're going to Atlanta on some last minute talking about your auntie. It don't make no well, sense to me. me I've been watching all these memes. Oh, the respectfully dude, he said, if your girl's going to Atlanta this week, don't be with her. Oh, hello? <laughs> hello? Oh, my God. This this ain't adding up? Two media plus two ain't media, equal in four? Social media is going to you. That's, what, that's all social, social media. media. Social media. It's common sense, too. Because you got your red bottoms in there. You said you might I'm do a trying, video I'm shoot. Trying, but I'm you're trying. going down there to see your aunt... And then now you might do a video shoot. I'm just saying, they, a photo shoot might come up. All right, man. No, it's, it, it, just just go. Yeah, you you, you for the, go, go. You for the streets. And just get out. Go. I'm not stupid. Boy. I'm not stupid. And don't come back. You're not kicking out, nope. man. Nope. Stop it. Yep. Peace. He's coming right back. I'm Peace. <laughs> Think I'm boo-boo the fool. I must got boo-boo the fool written on my forehead. Even when I tell y'all the anger didn't seem genuine. Right, like the outrage just didn't match. It just didn't match, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you guys, I know you males. You know, when you upset, I've seen you dudes upset. And to me, this seemed like manufactured anger. Because again, man, this chick ain't going nowhere. He gonna stay with her. You know, once he actually thinks about it, 
he's going to let her come back, even though she's probably going to pound town <laughs> with some guy in Atlanta. If this is true, you know, probably going to pound town, but I, I just think that this video could be very, very much so manufactured. I think this might be manufactured to go viral. You know, just the last part of video, he's like, do I do I like boo boo the fool? I'm like, bro, you don't sound very angry that your girl is just saying, forget you. I, I, I This trip is more important than being with you, basically. Even though she got, you know, what is it, the red bottoms, probably some other things, some condoms. Like she got a lot of things that she got with her. And um, he's like, you know, don't come back. You know, are you going to leave? You're for the streets. Get out of here. Just go. Leaving the door unlocked. You know? I don't trust you. No. Why? In your relationship, Why? you don't trust me? Because you're going to Atlanta on some last minute talking about your aunties. It don't make no well, sense to me. me I've been watching all these memes. Uh, the respectfully dude, he said, if your girl's going to Atlanta this week, don't be with her. Oh, uh, hello? <laughs> hello? Oh. This this ain't adding up. Two plus two ain't equal to four. Social media. Social media. It's common sense too. Because you got your red bottoms in there. You said you might do a video shoot. But you're going down there to see your aunt and then now you might do a video shoot. I'm just saying they a photo shoot might come up. All right, man. It's, it, just just go. Yeah, you 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 for the go go. You for the streets. Just get out. Go. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. And don't come back. Yes, I'm nope, nope. I think yeah. there's a longer yep. video Peace. of this. Longer version I'm of peace. this. Peace. There's a longer video of this. I think I'm boo boo the fool. He bringing up memes. Oh, man. So, do y'all think that this is real? Do y'all think that this. Do y'all really think he's about to, to, to kick this chick out the house? He ain't, this pro, he ain't about to kick this chick out the house nowhere. As a matter of fact, he's probably calling her as soon as she hit the lobby. <laughs> as soon as she hit that Uber, he calling. Why are you leaving to go to Atlanta? Why? <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> He wants to know what more does she want from a man. But yeah, this feels like a skit to me, man. He ain't kicking this chick out. Not today, not any other day. He ain't kicking this chick out. Absolutely not. There's no way he's kicking this chick out. Why? So she can go and get it in with other men? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He is not about to, to do that under no circumstances. As soon as he start recording again, I don't think that this is truly real. This could have been manufactured. Um, but you just never know with these modern females, man. They will, they will leave their dude just to go to the club or to go on a trip, to go on a girl's trip. You really need to watch out to go on that girl's trip because that trip could be designed just so she can go and, you know, end things with you by being around other dudes, man. Don't trust them female friends, man. Them female friends probably don't want her in no relationship. They want her single just like they are. And they will try to make her trip up and and help her cheat. That's just how these chicks be rolling, man. Why do you think so many women don't have female friends? Because they know how these chicks get down. They done, they done, uh, they done fell out with so many of them probably due to these type of situations uh, and they don't want to deal with them anymore. Show a way to play a camels in Dubai. I mean, shoot, listen, you don't have to be a huge IG model to get flown out to Dubai. You know what I'm saying? You just have to look good. You know, Dubai is basically a place where you can go and, and, uh, like whatever whatever you looking for you can have. 
that's how they treat certain things over there, man. It's, 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 you know, being able to, you know, spend money on women is a lifestyle over there, man, to humiliate women. And these rappers do the same thing. These rappers do the same thing. They slore out these women too. Your girlfriend is flying to Dubai. She's also flying to Atlanta, Miami, Los Angeles, Houston to get slored out by these rappers. And it doesn't matter if she's in a relationship. It doesn't matter if she's married. Because trust me, you dudes who spend more of your time trying to argue with men on social media, your girl is making plans, bro. You so busy trying to worry about what men are doing that you don't know. Your girl is out making plans, bro. She making plans and you ain't in it. And NBA All-Star Weekend gave a lot of these women the opportunity to go out and screw around. They probably already got people that they know in Atlanta already. They don't been making plans for months and weeks. And you sitting at home acting crazy because she's leaving. Bro, she's been leaving. She's been waiting for the opportunity. <laughs> she's been waiting for the opportunity. That's why, man. She she got a disc appointment and uh you know, she got clubs to hop. Now you sitting around on YouTube comment sections and chat rooms wondering what other men are doing. Wondering why we're saying what we're saying, trying to police what we're we're saying or doing. That's where y'all at. Talking about, you know, bragging about how many women you get, but your woman making plans, buddy. Your woman is making plans to go get slored out and then come back home to you kissing you in the mouth. I gotta understand that. JD, you know how funny you are. <laughs> nah, man, I'm just telling the truth. I gotta tell these people the truth, man. They don't wanna hear it, but somebody gotta say it. All right, people. Shout out to everybody that's here. I appreciate y'all being here. Thank y'all for donating and supporting the live stream. I couldn't get the calls going. That's, that's something, I guess, that's going on on Skype's end. Uh, hopefully I can remedy that on the next show, but like the stream. If you haven't make sure y'all share this. I want everybody to see this. I want everybody to see it. Your friends, your family, your mama, everybody to see this, you know, um, everybody needs to see the stream, man. We need to, we need to tell the truth about these modern women. What's going on. There's a lot going on out here. There's a lot going on. They need to see it. And they need to see the reality of their behaviors and their decisions. The world will be a better place once people can see the honesty and everything, right? No more lies. No more games. No more selling dreams. No more selling dreams. We, we, we're not about selling dreams no more. Uh, shout out to the moderators and the members. Again, make sure you join my Patreon if y'all want to see that those exclusive videos that I've been putting up. At least once or twice, at least twice a week, I'm putting up videos. Um, I'm working on the secret part two. I might do the slorification of America part three. Um, I mean to talk about the, the, the slore culture that is just out of control right now. And again, man, I, I appreciate all the support from y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the different channels if you're new and you're watching for the first time ever. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Click notification bell um, where you get notified, you know. Salute. Salute. Uh, did y'all appreciate the support, man? All right. And uh, again, I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and uh, have a good rest of your night, I guess. The rest of your night.